So what do you want? You don't know who the fuck I am. What are you doing? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! My name is Max Caulfield. I'm 18 years old. Years ago, my family moved away and I left behind my childhood. After five years, I'm back in my hometown, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Now I'm studying photography at Blackwell Academy, my new home. In the end, it's still high school, which kind of sucks. Then there's Chloe. Home shit home. Let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. Come on, rock out, girl! Then something happened. Something that changed my life forever. Max, what's going on? Where am I? There's something else I have to tell you. Holy shit. Talk to me, Max. Oh, no! I discovered I could reverse time. Max, start from the beginning. Hey! Max? Chloe? Oh, Dan, Max! In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. You hell saved my life. Don't ever touch me again! Then I realized I had a choice. Hey, you okay? And the power to change everything. Bang! What the hell? Come on, slowpoke! If I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. So, what would you do now? In the previous episodes of Life is Strange... Whoa! ...we called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just, like, shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. 
I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Jeez, Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like... Pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. First Rachel and now Kate? 
This is the end of the Vortex Club. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. I feel like you're guiding us along, but where? Dana's really hurting over this. Hey Dana, how are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? Look at the lens and say, nut. Gotcha.
The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history, big and small. Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast there. if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? That smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed-off, entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? 
Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. 
We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Oh, no keys here. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Nothing to see here. Desolation. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Crap. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? Trash. 
Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Oh, Rachel, I know you and Kate are connected by all this. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. This is like a scene in a horror film. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max the art critic. Victoria's cigarettes? I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. I feel silly thinking of myself as an everyday hero for helping Kate. But it's cool that other people do. Now if I could only find Rachel. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Only one more ingredient left. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. I never said they were great, troll. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but 
I want a picture. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. I probably should find those items now. Sugar, sugar, this is Oregon, damn it. Where's the Blackwell coffee machine so I can grab some sugar? Ooh, sugar. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Biology. Ugh, gross. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan, anybody. I'm on the case.
This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. You're not so tacky up close. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room, Rachel in the dark room, over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. 
That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You wanna take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So, splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. <laughs> Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. The wit, it burns. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber?
flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Where does that other sock go? This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. I hope so, friend. Well, we care, dickhead. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger, or self-righteous hypocrite. It's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Sometimes. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around?
No way am I touching Zach's jersey. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Boys' locker room is right. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. Big pipe. So do I. Hit that light. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. So, the big plan is, win. Now I have the power over light and death. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time, but that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. 
You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! We have to go now! Are you shitting me? Like when we were kids. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. You're so invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Get in. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are.
always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it's free, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Okay, I need to get dressed now. This old phone? We decorated it together. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. And if you promise to stay conscious, I will try and do the same. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. <laughs> Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money. 
from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. You better not rewind and take that kiss back. You know I'm hotter than those Seattle art holes, right? I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle, like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time.
Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Now for the mother's milk. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. I wonder how these birds died. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Dead bird. Poor thing. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night. 
around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. 
Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Geez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Such wrong. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard.
I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. What is going on here?
Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. I'd love to do a whole big rig photo series. Hey, no photo girl. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview ever. Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh, oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Oh God, that is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. So ominous. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. I think it's all connected to Rachel Amber's disappearance. A lot of things in Arcadia Bay are connected to Rachel. Including Nathan Prescott? 
That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy mm. weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over 100 years ago. All of us are questioning what is happening in Arcadia Bay. Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be is this global warming, what is causing all of this crazy weather. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. You should have jumped, asswipe. Shit. What are the other signs, then? <coughs> Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. 
deal. You know, get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. They'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. Oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. No back off. Mm. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> 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 I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first.
What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Holy shit, what do you want now? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> <coughs> what the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. To who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. 
You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! <clears throat> Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person, my friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Nice Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Pompidou? <laughs> for reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I might regret this, but 
I can't let Frank hurt someone. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. No prize here. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody! Chloe!
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William the is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickets. I'm 18 years old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young.
Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time, unless I change it. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave, play nice, try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I have to try. I have to. I, I was put here to use this power to save William. For Chloe. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Uh, hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Bryce? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... so you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax. Joyce loves William so much. Boom. Disconnected. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get- Score! Over. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. 
She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the What a mess we made. You mean your college I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where? What are you? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that. Someday. Obvious, but it will have to do. Keys. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she I, was so so much. I know, sorry, Mad was Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor!